complex example, we're going to define a new topology on set X. Let X be a set. Let to sub C be the collection of all subsets like U of set X that satisfy the following property. Such that the complement of those subsets x minus u is either countable or it is all of x. Very good. Our goal is to show that to sub c is a topology on x. To show that close up C is a topology, we need to show three properties. The very first one, we need to show that the empty set and X are in close up C. It means that U equals to empty set satisfy the property and also U as X satisfy this property. So let U be the empty set. X minus U is X minus the empty set, which is X itself. It's all of X. So since U equals to empty set satisfies the property, so empty set belongs to close off C. Now let U be X, X minus U is X minus X, which is the empty set. As we know, empty set is countable. Since U equals to X, satisfies the property. So X is also in close off C. Now let us move on to the second property. We're going to show that close up C is closed under union. Close up C is closed under the union. So our goal is to show that If you take members of tosopsy, their union is also in tosopsy. The union of members of tosopsy is also in tosopsy. So let us take a collection of members of to sub C. Let the collection of U sub alphas be an index family of non empty elements. of to sub C. We want to show that the union of U sub alphas is also in to sub C. So what's the meaning of that? It means that we need to show that the union of U sub alphas satisfy the property that the complement is either countable or it is all of X. So we need to show that 
x minus the union of the u sub alphas is either countable or it is all of x. Mathematically, x minus the union of u sub alphas can be written as the intersection of the complement of each u sub alpha. So it means that we are dealing with two scenarios. As you know, each u sub alpha is in tau sub c. It means that x minus u sub alpha is either countable or it is all of x. If x minus u sub alpha is countable, then the intersection of countable sets is also countable. At the same time, right-hand side and left-hand side are equal to each other. So x minus the union of u sub alpha is also countable. So what's the meaning of that? It means that the union of u sub alpha satisfy the property So the union of u sub alpha is a member of tau sub c. So this is for the countable part. What if it's all of x? If x minus u sub alpha or the complement of u sub alpha is all of x, it's equal to x, then of course the intersection is all of x. So x minus the union of u sub alpha is all of x. It means that the union of u sub alpha again satisfies the property. So the union of u sub alpha belongs to C. So in either case, if the complement is countable or the complement is all of x, we end up having the union in tosop C. So what's the meaning of that? It means that tosop C is closed under the union. Now the third property. We need to show that tau sub c is closed under finite intersection. So again, the goal is to show that the intersection of finite numbers of members in tau sub c is also in tau sub c. So let u1, u2, un be non-empty. members of tau sub c. We want to show that the finite intersection of u sub i's is in tau sub c. So we need to show that it satisfies the property. The intersection is 
the member that they're trying to show belongs to toe sub C. So we need to form the complement. So we need to show that X minus the intersection of U sub I's, I from one to N is either countable or all of X. Mathematically, X minus the intersection of U sub I's is the union of the complement of U sub I's. As before, we have two scenarios, two cases. X minus U sub I is countable or X minus U sub I is all of X. So if X minus U sub I is countable, The finite union of countable sets is countable. Since the finite union of countable sets is countable, so this union is countable, and it means that x minus the intersection is also countable. X minus the intersection of U sub I's is countable. But what's the meaning of that? It means that this intersection belongs to to sub C. The second scenario, if X minus U sub I is all of X, then of course the union of X minus U sub I's, I start from one goes to infinity is also X. Therefore, X minus the intersection of U sub I's is also X. What, what's the meaning of that? It means that again, the intersection of u sub i's, i from one to n, belongs to to sub c. So we just showed that the third property also met. What's the meaning of that? It means that to sub c is a topology on set x. So we just showed that sub C, which is the collection of all subsets of X such that X minus U is either countable or is all of X forms a topology on set X.